Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, went to get some uh, yard equipment fixed down at the local guy that fixes on stuff. And um, when I was down there, I had my hedger and my chainsaw tuned up and so forth. Not that I couldn't do it myself, but I had other things going on at the same time. But when I was down there, I saw this little gem. It was sitting on the throwaway pile. Uh, and I asked the guy that was that, that owned the place and said, what are you going to do with this machine? And he was like, well, I'm just going to throw it away. And I said, okay. I said, do you mind if I take a whack at it, see if I can get it to run? He was like, no problem, take it. So I was like, wow. I was like, I guess the owner didn't want to pay to have it, have parts put on it and have the labor. And after all, that was all said and done, the machine was pretty much the same price as it would have been for labor and parts. And I was like, well, hey, can I, can I get a shot at it? He's like, no problem. So I, I got the machine, but the ticket says, I'll bring it over. I crossed out names just to, just for, you know, be, so I wouldn't let everybody know who it was, but the tag says won't start. It says echo leaf blower, and they believed it was a coil, but I want to check and see what, what's going on with it. So let's uh, tear into it, guys. Free machine. First thing I want to do is uh, actually go in and take the spark plug out. Spark plug's usually your key indicator of what will actually goes on with this machine. So I kind of loosened it beforehand to kind of get an idea of what was what might happen. And I looked at the plug and the plug was pretty much clean. It had a little bit of residue on it, but keep in mind it's a two-stroke motor. So I said I checked the gap and everything. And I thought, well, I'll just uh, put it back in there. Now, the second thing is it didn't have any gas in it. So I don't know why it said it won't start. I mean, it takes three things to start a motor. It takes air, it takes fuel, and it takes heat. So the three of those together will start your machine, but this one, for some reason, wouldn't start for the previous owner. So I, uh, I thought I'd give it a shot. So I'll put the plug back in it. Um, I did want to do one thing though. I have, this is called a uh, spark plug tester. I'm just gonna hook it onto it and see if we've got spark. So I'm gonna basically put this up here and if you see the little red light, it will show red. Let's see. <laughs> so I got it to pull and I saw that there was a red light on there. So on the ticket it said it needed a coil. Well obviously if it had a red light blinking right here, it does not need a coil. So, take the spark plug tester off, like so. Put coil back on it. I thought I'd go over to town I'd get some gas. Now sometimes I use this, especially when you're storing stuff like in the fall, start using this. If you use these machines regularly, you probably want to put some kind of stabilized gas. Now this one says it's ethanol free for extended storage life. It's good for the winter. You want to keep fuel in the system. It keeps uh, the fuel lines from drying up and so forth. Plus it keeps the uh, carburetor a lot cleaner than it would be with uh, just regular gas because it has ethanol in it. It's mainly for cars, but these machines are pretty sensitive. So I put a little bit of gas in it. Um, I'm actually gonna put a little bit of this in here. Now you can get any kind of stable style gas at your, uh, any kind of stores like AutoZone, um, Walmart, just different places. Um, this one here is ethanol free, it boasts ethanol free. So just a little bit in there. I didn't fill up the whole tank because I had a little bit left in here. So I said, since the coil runs, and now we have gas, the only thing we need is air, and obviously I'm breathing. So I'm going to give it a shot. I'm just going to pull up the choke on this side here. I'm going to pump the primer, this little primer bulb here. 
what holds gas in it. Um, let's see if we can get it to run. Ticket says won't start. It says won't start. I have a feeling it either didn't have gas in it or the uh, little primer switch was not primed or it wasn't choked or operator error. It was going on a landfill. It was actually getting thrown away. It was a very easy fix. All I had to do was just put some gas in it, check the spark to make sure the spark worked, so many times people throw away machines like this. You know, it can be easily fixed. I know my stuff here is some of my older stuff that I've had for a long, long time. Um, this machine here I've had for more than 20 years. It just put new parts on it and it'll start running. Um, most of these things you can get right at a parts store. I know this one here is just a little tool you can get. You can get these five bucks at your local like lawn care. Uh, dealerships. This right here, I bought it at AutoZone, I think, or no, I bought this at Harbor Freight. I think it was mm, probably $6.99. But I had these in stock, and then just a little screwdriver here. I think you can buy screwdrivers at, at uh, you can buy these at Harbor Freight probably for $3.99. If you get the 20% coupon, $3.50. Um, didn't even use it today. Echo blower, it's gonna be thrown away. I guess it runs. I'll see you guys next time on my next video. Thanks.